Hi, welcome back. Today on another episode of the Markham Sold Show, I'm going to explain the difference between a townhouse and a condo, and I bet you have no idea what the difference is. Let's find out. So in Madison County specifically, we only have a small handful of condo communities. And so the difference is, is very minor. Most people, actually even most realtors don't even know what the difference is. So I thought this was very important to explain. So we are actually in a townhouse and you, from the street, you would not be able to tell that it's a townhouse, but the difference is it's not the style. It's not how many are attached. It's not the building. It has nothing to do with the outside, the construction, the architecture, anything like that. It has to do with the, the legal description of the property. So a townhouse, what you own, you actually own the grass, you own the land, you own the, the outside walls, the roof, you just share one or two combining walls with another um, unit. And so usually those have less fees associated with it and it's financed the same as a single family home as well. And so a condo is much different and condo financing was affected a lot during the recession in 2008, the housing crisis. And so the difference with a condo is you only own the drywall on the inside. The association, the whole neighborhood of condos actually owns your grass and your brick on the outside, your roof. And so your fees monthly are going to be much higher because they have to take care of all of that. And so it's an entire association that collects monthly fees to maintain everything. And, but a benefit though, is even though you have that monthly fee, your homeowner's insurance for a condo is way less. I've seen it be as much as a fourth less than a single family home because you only own the drywall. So hopefully this video was helpful and you now know the difference between a townhouse and a condo. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you next week.